live hi friends welcome to another live stream i just left sephora and bought a bunch of fenty beauty stuff i promised you this was coming so let's do this i wanted to have the top down because i thought it would give me more light but the light is actually behind me so it's not helping and it's just super loud but yesterday's video i showed you guys everything that i was planning on getting and i showed you links and i showed you pictures hi tara so before i go to work i literally literally went to sephora before i went to work i got in the car and i was like i have to show them so i think i'm gonna put the top up if it's too noisy you guys will have to let me know because it doesn't help me i'm like backlit so let me show you let me tell you what i got i have my receipt here so i spent a total here's my receipt I spent a total of $237, which is actually right on budget because I was like, I'm not spending more than 200 bucks. So I've left a link to the collection if you want to check it out. I'm going to show you swatches. You guys, I came so prepared. I actually packed makeup wipes so we can do swatches. So first of all, yesterday's video is going insane. It's my most viewed video. If you haven't seen it, um, I'll leave a link to it down below when I get home from work but basically in the video I said basically I just found pictures online put them up because I wanted to show the products for the Fenty Beauty line and then I wanted to just talk about them holy crap it has like 20,000 views or something like that like 15,000 views it's my most disliked video like 200 50 dislikes and people are basically saying like it's clickbait you don't have the product but I clearly said in the comments in the title I don't have it I'm just showing you pictures so we could talk about it to give you like a little heads up in case you want to use it as like a shopping reminder because that's why I filmed it for myself I was not expecting that to happen um, it's the video that I just uploaded last night it's called Fenty Beauty Overview so if you can go and just say hi on that video and uh, just like leave a nice comment because I've literally had to be looking at those comments like every 10 seconds. People are calling me ugly. They're like, you're a liar. This is a shitty video. So it's just been a lot. So I've been manning those. But anyways, I have the products now. So let's talk about them. I think I'm going to put the top up because it's just loud. I think there's a lot of background noise. Let's jump into it. When I get home, I will link every product down below. Ignore them. Yes, I need to. It was just shocking because you guys are always so nice in my comments. Everybody's so, like, we all just get along. And I should mention, there are a lot of new people there that are, so, I feel like I'm screaming. Let me calm down. Okay, this is better. So I feel like I don't have to scream. There's a lot of new people that are, like, really nice and, like, you know, you did a good job. So... I guess that just comes with it you know what I'm saying like you take the good and the bad if I want to be successful at YouTube look at those people that have millions of subscribers they get a lot of hate so I was just talking to my boyfriend about it he's like don't even worry about it I'm not worried about it I was just like whoa okay receipt time I spent 237 let's go over what I got I really need to go to work but I just wanted to show you guys first up we have the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna pro filter this is a soft matte long wear oh this is the foundation I get confused because oh hi Aunt Angela welcome to the live stream the random live stream before I go to work I love my Aunt Angela she's my favorite auntie she already knows that I thought this was the filter the names are funny like one's a pro filter foundation and one's a filter so this is in the shade 470 the girls at Sephora were really nice and I'm sorry but the girls at my Sephora and uh, I go to the one hi Laura I go to the Sephora here in LA and Santa Monica they are not usually nice they actually like ignore me and considering how much money I spend in that place but today it was all new staff they were so nice and helpful they were so excited okay so here's the packaging for the foundation white lid I really like it very clean very sleek how much should I pay for this the foundation was $34. You get a good size amount. 1.8 fluid ounce. It has a pump. Hallelujah. Thank God. If you're paying $34 for a foundation, you need it to have a pump. Um, okay. My Aunt Angela says, you know you're my fave. I'm your fave by default, Aunt Angela. You had a fave before me, but rest in peace, she passed away. So I know that was your favorite niece before she passed away. I'm I shouldn't say by default. That sounds so bad, but on Angela, I know you're lying. I was not your, I was not always your fave, but I'll take it anyways. Okay. Foundation. Oh Lord, that's runny. That's, 
Ugh. Did I get the right shade? It looks really nice on my hand, but I'm worried on my face. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm always worried about foundation shades, and then somehow I match myself perfectly. It's really runny, so that scared me. I thought maybe it wouldn't be full coverage, but looking at it on my hand, it's even covering up my hand hairs. And you guys know, if you don't know, I'm very hairy. So the fact that it's covering that up is pretty awesome. So it says it's a matte finish, soft matte longwear foundation. This would be a good foundation to do a first impressions on. But look at that. That coverage is awesome. Okay, girl. I'm so excited about this. I, re I almost called off work. Um, on in. Oh, she's funny. I almost called off work just to go home and like film this, but then I was like, no, girl, you cannot do that. I have a big presentation. So foundation, and again, this is the shade uh four. What is it? Four seventy. Shade four seventy. That looks nice. It looks natural, but full coverage. I don't even know how that's possible. Yes, Lord. Yes. I'm so excited. I don't know if it's going to match me because ever since I got my chemical peel, I feel like my skin tone is lighter. Can it do that? Can a skin, can a chemical peel make you lighter? I don't know. I feel lighter. I don't know. Anyways, I need to hurry up. I have to go to work. Next up, I got the Fenty Beauty. Obviously, you know that match sticks trio. So it says you can use this to conceal contour and highlight. Also, I need to keep an eye out on my parking meter because I don't think I put enough money in. This was the most expensive thing I got. This was, it's $54. And I was talking to the girl in the store and she said that you can use these however you want. Oh God, I need my keys to get it open. Let me turn the car off. She says you can use it to highlight, to conceal, to bronze. Oh Lord. I don't wanna like really ruin this stuff because what if I wanna return it? It's like sealed on tight. Um, you should mention it's about twice the size. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Lu Lutia? I think that's how you say your name. That's a lot of foundation for $40. I'm sorry, $34. 1.8 fluid ounces, and I love the packaging in a pump. I can't wait to use this. All right, so I totally just destroyed that box. Also, by the way, if any of you care, um, they really seal the stuff up really good, like really good. And I don't know if I showed you a close-up of the box. So this is what it looks like. So I got the trio in deep 400. So that comes with three, three products. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize they were magnetic. <laughs> I had read that online and I forgot to mention that in the video yesterday. Can you guys see this? So it's supposed to be really good for travel. That is so cute. All right, so here's the shades that I got. And this is the most expensive thing I got because it comes in three. So let me show you. So we have suede, espresso, and cinnamon, which is spelled like sin, which is hilarious. Uh, Danielle says, I'm on the site now. Be careful, girl. I almost spent like, I almost spent $300 and I put like five things back. I, I think I told you guys I spent $237. Just be careful because you, it's, you just be careful. I feel like you could end up spending a lot more than you planned on. Okay, so this is the color suede. Let's pull it up, see what it looks like. I'm getting it so dirty. So that's how much product you get, which honestly isn't that much, but you do get three of them for $57, $54, so I don't know. And honestly, I don't even know what the hell I'm gonna use this for. They said you can use it to conceal, highlight, or contour. So this is the shade Suede, and this is the Matchstick Trio that are magnetic. I guess I would probably use that to highlight. Actually, that would be really pretty. I'm so excited to get home and try this stuff. Next up, we have the shade Cinnamon. Oh good, you can see. It's spelled like Cinnamon, which is so funny. Packaging is cute. I agree. I agree, girlfriend. This is what this looks like. My camera will focus. I'm assuming I'd probably use this to highlight because it has a bit of shimmer in it. So they are 18 each. No, I think if you buy them separate, Danielle, you get more product. And I think I saw that they were $24 separate. So you do get a good deal if you buy them in a trio. You just don't get as much product. I think separate, they're bigger and you, they're 24 bucks. 
But check on the site. I've left a link down below. So if you click that, it'll take you to the Sephora Fenty Beauty site. And I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, I would definitely use that as a highlight. And these are beautiful. Oh, I wanted to film it when I was leaving Sephora, the Sephora. Bye, Aunt Angela. Have a great day. Um, the Sephora girl, she was like, you're our first Rihanna customer. I was like, yes, girl. I was not messing around. I was literally in line. I was, well, there wasn't a line. There were people waiting outside. I was there 10 minutes before they opened. All right, what shade is this? This is espresso. And I would definitely, come on camera, focus. I would definitely probably use this to contour. Let's see how it looks on my skin tone. And this is the deepest match trio that they had, yeah. I mean, I could barely contour with that. It is darker than my skin tone, but I feel like if you're any darker than I am, you wouldn't be able to contour with it. So, uh, my shade in the foundation is, I keep forgetting, 470, 470, and I think it should be good. We'll see. I'll try it when I get home. So, there are the three matchsticks. Very pretty. Um, I just think if you're darker than I am, you may not be able to contour with this, but I think there's deeper shades if you buy the full size. So I got the trio, so this is what it looks like. People are literally walking by like, who the flip is that girl talking to? They probably think I'm crazy. But I don't care. I promised you guys this. All right, let me wipe my hands off. L listen, friends, I'm telling you, I came prepared. My car looks like crap because I have makeup wipes, I have like my work shoes, I have my work laptop. I was not messing around today. I promised you guys this live stream, so I'm sticking to it. Okay, I also picked up one of the brushes. I was going to get, there's like a contour cheek. I cannot get this stuff open. I'm gonna have to use my keys. Um, Tysine said, what is your shade? In the foundation, my shade is, I keep forgetting. Let me leave the foundation out in case anybody else asks. 470. Can you guys see that? Oh, my camera's not going to focus, but this is what it looks like. Foundation shade 470. I left the link to the website. So if you want to click that and then check it out. By the way, their stuff is packaged really well, which I appreciate. Like, look at this. The brush. All right. So the brush, this is the foundation brush. I was going to get the, um, the highlight and contour brush, but I can't get this open guys. See, these are the kind of things um, that I usually edit out, but you can't do that in the live stream. Do you think 290 is too light? Oh, I should have taken some footage in there. They have some foundation shades that I'm not even trying to make a joke that I think would actually work if you were albino. They go so light, like almost stark white. So it might be worth it to maybe look up someone that swatched that color if you want because I swatch things on my boyfriend and he is the palest white man I've ever seen. I'm not trying to joke. He's very, very pale and I'm dark. I can go back and get it. I was thinking of actually buying some light shades and swatching it on him. So if you guys think that would be helpful, I'm happy to do that. And then maybe I can do like a giveaway because I feel bad returning so much stuff. You know, I don't mind returning stuff. If you're new here, I return stuff. I don't care if it's high end, low end. I don't care if it's $5, I'll return it. But like, I don't want to go buy like five light foundations if you guys don't care. So if you're watching the recording and you want me to go get some light foundations, I got you, boo. And I will swatch them on my pale AF boyfriend. He's very pale. Like if he puts on sunblock, sunscreen, and goes in the sun for too long, he will get um, sunburn. What shade are you in MAC? The last time I checked, I was in NC50. NC50. That is my shade in MAC. Look at this packaging for the brush. Super cute. So it says, this brush is the 110 foundation brush and it's very soft. It's like there's a cover on it. It's very comfortable and it has this little cover on it, which I always take off because I mean, oh man, they really package this stuff really well. I can't even get it off. Ugh. Sorry guys. How do you take this off? Ugh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get it off. I don't want to mess up the hairs. Uh, Guys, I can't take this off. Am I retarded or something? Okay, let's see. Hang on, friend. Oh, man, I messed up some of the bristles. That was hard to get off. 
The hairs on this brush are soft, but it's very, very densely packed. So we'll have to see how this holds up. How much should I pay for this? This foundation, ooh, shit. Oh, sorry. I usually edit out the cuss words. This was kind of expensive, guys. This brush was $34. This was the same price as the foundation. So this thing better be amazing. That's kind of up there for a foundation brush. So it's really densely packed. It's a beautiful brush. And if it holds up, then it's worth it. Um, I don't mind paying for a brush as long as it holds up. But that is very pretty. I'm not even going to lie. The brush was $34. The same price as the foundation. So just keep that in mind. Are there lipsticks eyeliners everything in her line so far did she do no there's everything there's lip gloss there's blotting paper i didn't see any eyeliners hey april i didn't see any eyeliners but um there's foundations there's concealers there's powders there's lip glosses she released 40 shades of foundation so I keep looking at the clock because guys, I really have to go to work and I'm moving too slow. Okay, foundation brush, $34. If it's worth it, I'll let you know. I don't know, I think that's pretty steep for a foundation brush. We'll have to see how it holds up. The packaging is awesome. I mean, if you're a sucker for packaging, you'll really like this packaging. It's just really sleek, really, really clean. It says it's full, firm, air-touched, full coverage. Dense, and then it goes into like French and I think Italian, so. It is very dense, so we'll see how it holds up. Next up, I got this and I'm super excited to uh, try, which I don't, honestly, I probably would have not purchased this if Erin didn't talk me into it. She's one of the girls that works at Sephora. So this is the, oh, so this is the full size of the matchstick. I didn't even realize I bought this. That's pretty bad when you just bought stuff and you don't even know what the freak you bought. How much was this? Oh, this is a matchstick. Okay, so the matchstick's full price are $25. This is what the box looks like. So it says that you can use these. The girl in Sephora told me, oh God, how am I gonna get this open? What foundation color did you choose? I chose, I should keep saying that because I keep forgetting. Oh my God. You guys, they really package this stuff well. The sticker goes all the way down. I have the foundation shape. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I agree, April. April says, I love the packaging, but I don't see Rihanna. I know, I kind of thought she would come up with, like, something more colorful. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of, like, Kim K's stuff. It's like a pale pink. It, my camera's making it look a little white, but it's like a pale pink vibe. It's very interesting. I feel like her marketing people were like, bitch, you need to tone it down. You can't be going crazy. Okay, foundation shade, 470... Yeah, it's just called 470, and I think it might be perfect. I don't know. 470, friends. I've left a link to it down below. Oh, you guys, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. I always forget that I can see that. Give this one a thumbs up, because if this one goes anything like that other video, I need all the thumbs up I can get. If you missed my little rant about the other video yesterday. It wasn't a rant. I was just, like, in shock. Um... Janine says, I think she said she wanted it to look feminine. It is. It looks really nice. And I feel like this is more sellable, more marketable than probably what she would have gone for. Okay, this is the matchstick in Unicorn. Embrace yourself, friends. This is kind of wild. People are literally, like, walking to work. I'm in Santa Monica, by the way, which is the beach here in L.A. And people are looking at me like, what the hell is that girl doing? Why is she showing makeup to her phone? It's 2017, people. I've got a YouTube channel. Get out of my face. And I have on, like, my work jacket. It's hilarious. Okay. So, according to the girl in Sephora, you can use this to highlight. You can put it on your eyes. She said you can literally do whatever you want to with it. So, I got the shade Unicorn because why not? And according to her, she said that she, put, she had this on her eyes and it looked really pretty. And she said that, um, like, on my skin tone, she said at night it would look really good to highlight. So... Let's watch it. Oh, Lord. That is very iridescent. That's pretty. Oh, the light's washing it out for you guys. It's looking white for you, but it's like an iridescent pink, purple, beautiful. And purple's my favorite color, so I was like a sucker. So, I love this. Oh, my God. I don't know how I'm going to use it. I don't know where I'm going to use it. She's like, you know, she, Aaron, the girl at Sephora, she's like, 
Erin, if you're watching this, you were so sweet. She's like, you know, I'm from New York, and in New York, I would just wear that to get coffee or whatever. But she's like, here in L.A., people look at you like you're crazy. I'm like, girl, in L.A., you can do whatever the hell you want, because I do. I go to the freaking, I walk my dog in full drag makeup. I do not care, okay? Look at me. I have lashes on. I have to take these off before I go to work. I'm talking too much. I've got to hurry up. All right, what else did I get, you guys? I think, honestly, for $237, I think I got a lot of stuff. I think I did pretty good. We have two more things to look at here. Two more things, and we are done. And I've been talking for 20 minutes. Do I need to put money in the meter? Crap, I need to put money in the meter. I'm going to try to finish this without that. All right, next up, we have the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. Wait till you see this. So it says it's creamy, long-lasting, and endless, endless, endless ways to glow. So this was, this was $34. I think, honestly, her stuff's pretty reasonably priced. It's not affordable, but it's not, like, super, super high-end. Oh, God. I should have brought some scissors. Like, to actually open this, like, makes me sweat. Ugh! Of stuff you don't want to put in your live stream and i need to turn the car on because i'm getting hot hang on friends hang on ah. oh god all right finally man they really like don't want you stealing this stuff i guess okay get ready because this is really pretty first of all packaging very monotone very kim k vibes this is coming up like white for you guys, but it's like an iridescent purpley white. This is in the color Trophy Wife. So this is meant to be a highlighter illuminator. Brace yourself, friends. If you didn't see this in my video yesterday, it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Let's just take a moment to thank all that is right in the world and thank Rihanna for just releasing this and her people and her marketing people that told her to put this into action because praise God, hallelujah, amen. This is what you need to be seen from the stars and back, friends. Can I be any more dramatic? And it has a mirror, very pretty. You guys can see yourself there. There you are, there you are. You can see the building over there. Okay, let's swatch. Damn it, the light is kind of washing it out for you guys. Let me see if I put my hand behind it. Yes, you can see. That's a light swatch. Let's swatch it on the hand. Wow. <laughs> Look at me. I'm like a kid. I'm like, oh, beautiful. That's like a light swatch too, guys. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. That's what I need in my life. That is what I need, Rihanna. Yes. I don't know where the hell I'm going to wear this bright yellow shimmery shit, but I'm going to wear it, okay? I'm going to wear it to walk my dog. I'm going to wear it to go to the grocery store. It is enhancing my hand hairs, but that's okay. I shaved my face, so I don't have that shit on my face. I'm such a mess, guys. I'm trying not to cuss. Usually, I edit out the cuss words in my recorded videos, but when you come to the live stream, you get the real Nikki, okay? If you are interested in this, you need to buy it. It's just amazing. And I feel like this would look so cool on so many different skin tones. If you're very, very super pale, I don't know, maybe you could use it as a body highlighter. Maybe you could use it on your eyes. Or maybe you could just look at it. It's just really pretty. Wow, I should have gotten two of those. That's really pretty. Okay, that is Trophy Wife. By the way, if you didn't know, the names of her products are freaking hilarious. One of them is like, I don't know. Go If you don't know the names of it, click the link down below and check it out. I have to turn the car off to literally open this. Or go and check out my video yesterday. The names of her stuff is hilarious. All right, the last thing that I got. This is another highlighter, but this is a duo. So you get two highlighters. And this is in the shade Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And I said in the video yesterday, I love Moscow Mules. Does anybody else drink Moscow Mules? I love those. Funny enough, I first heard about them from Oprah because Oprah was like saying, Moscow Mules are my favorite drink. Why do they package it like this? Oh, hello, genius. Why don't you open it from the bottom, you jackass? I've been opening it from the top where they have this big sticker. I could have just been, oh, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Girl, you're a mess. I'm a mess. All right, last product, friends. 
highlighter duo same packaging fenty beauty if you guys didn't know which i'm sure you guys know if you're watching this her last name i think it's robin isn't her last name fenty i think her name is robin fenty so that's where fenty comes from is it her last name or her middle name yes i did already show the foundation sorry i said i would keep doing updates the foundation shade that i have is 470 that's the one I have, and I will test it out tonight and see how it looks. It looked really nice on my hand. 470 is the foundation I have. Look at this. Look at this. So this one right here is, oh, please excuse the nails. Okay, Fenty is her last name, yeah. Uh, Robin Rihanna Fenty. Oh, right, Rihanna's her middle name. I really like her name, actually. I think it's pretty. So this one's Moscow Mule, this older lady's walking by looking at me like I'm a psycho. And this one is Ginger Binge. So let's swatch Moscow Mule. Look at that rose gold heaven. Wow. <laughs> when I watch these recordings, I'm like, you look like a kid in a candy shop. You guys see the way the light is hitting that? Like, I just want to go back and forth. It's beautiful. All right, let's do Ginger Binge. Ginger Binge has less shimmer, but... Okay. Oh, that one's more of like a... It looks more of like a blush, but it's still really pretty. Wow, look at when the light hits those. Like, it's not super impactful when you're just looking at it straight on, but when you... Oh, my God. You guys... You guys, this is beautiful. How much did I pay for this? And let me wipe myself off. I can I need to like not get this stuff um on my work outfit. How much was this? This was $34. So the most expensive thing I got was the match trio, which isn't bad cuz you get three things. Are we seeing that? Am I over exaggerating here? I'm sorry. Oh my God. I realized for like five seconds, I'm literally just like looking crazy. Okay. Wow. All right, friends. Wow. Wow. I'm so excited to play with this. So I've got to go to work. I've got to pull myself together, get out of makeup mode, get all this shimmer. I'm going, literally going to present for like a hundred doctors and they're going to be like, why do you have glitter everywhere? I need to powder myself. So do you guys oh thanks so much for coming april if you guys don't know april leave your channel in the chat um april has a channel i love her channel she does makeup reviews demos make sure to check her out um when i get home i'll leave a link to her video videos down below i can't do it now because i can't edit anything but definitely check her out if you guys want me to when i go home from work i will go home and fill in my makeup tutorial so let me know in the chat right now and if you're watching this recording let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a makeup tutorial today also let me know i've mentioned this if you're new around here my boyfriend is caucasian he's very pale if you guys want me to go back to sephora and pick up like really i have to put the air on guys it's really oh god the parking enforcement's coming and my meters run out keep going Oh no, he's coming. He's going to give me a ticket. Hold on, friends. I am not getting a ticket. And a ticket in Los Angeles is like $100 for um, your meter running out. He's looking. Maybe if I just like wink at him. I need to show a little bit more boob. Boobs can get you out of it. Okay, I'm being a mess. Um, I can go back and get lighter shades. If I go home and you want a tutorial, I'll just film it and edit it tonight. So let your girl know I gotta go to work I'm running late I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys have not seen the video I released last night it's called Fenty Beauty Overview can you guys go and give that a thumbs up because it's my most disliked video people are being really mean and I'm like having to man the comments it's I just could you just go give it a thumbs up even if you don't want to comment just give it a thumbs up because it's just like oh all right, I hope you guys have a great weekend. It looks like you guys want me to do tutorials and pick up some light shades. So I gotcha. Maybe I'll go pick up like five of the lightest shades and then swatch it on him. And then I'll swatch it on myself. That would actually be helpful. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with those light shades though, because my boyfriend doesn't wear makeup. 
Okay, guys, give this a thumbs up. If you're watching the recording, um, check out the videos on the screen. If you're watching this live, you're like, what the hell are you talking about? There's no videos on the screen. Check out the videos on the screen. I'll leave my head will pop up here so that you can subscribe. That's it from me. I love you guys. Have a great day and I will see you probably tonight with another video on all this stuff I just bought. Bye. I'm going to work. Ciao.